Hello, this is Shaji. Welcome to Android Tutorials. Let us begin Android programming uh, without having any theory behind it. So usually we will start everything with the theory foundations. But let us try without having any theory background how to do an Android programming. But of course I believe that you know Java programming a bit. So this is Eclipse IDE. This Eclipse IDE used to is used to develop Java applications. So here in this system I have installed Android in it and I have in installed the plugins for the Android too. So to start a new Android project, I have to start a new project here wizard to create a new android project so i have to i'm going to click on this icon marked a so this wizard will help me to create an android application so it's asking for a project name okay let me give my name shaji as the project name so about the icon so let it be the default icon because I don't have any icon with me to put. So this is the Android icon. Let it be the icon for my project too. Click next. It is asking for the version of the SDK. Whether I want to go with Android 2.1 or 4.0. These two versions of Android SDKs are installed in my system. So I'm choosing, I'm going for the lowest one that is 2.1 in my system uh, next now it's asking for an application name name for an application so the project name was given as Shaji and it is giving application name as the same it's not necessary to give the same we can give any name for that one so I'm going to give first and it's asking for a package name I'm going to give com dot Shaji is the package name and it is going to create an activity the activity's name it is given as default Shaji activity but if you want you can change it let it be default and it is asking for a minimum SDK what is the minimum SDK required to run this program so 2.1 that means 2.1 or above all the all the SDKs above 2.1 will support and finish now the Eclipse and Android SDKs together created a project Shaji here and there are so many folders uh, one such folder is source src in that com.shaji and there is an activity called Shaji activity is created yeah this is um, let me close the help so that we'll get more space to see the program so this is the default code generated so package this is a usual way of java programming package and under that uh, that the import files are given android app dot activity because this class Shaji activity that is the main activity uh, activity is something like a window which is going to work on the system Android system and Android OS dot the dot bundle and this maps to various string values whatever so this input is also necessary for us just be aware about that so this is uh, import default so we are using many string this is all those string values are in the bundle of os os bundle and this is a class shaji activity public class it is extended from a class activity this is android dot app dot activity so all the activities in the android it will be extended it should be extended from the activity class 
So, if you want to know more details, all the details are given here. What is activity and its life cycle? Activity status on create, what should do? On start, on restart, on resume, by running activity, on pass, on stop, on destroy, activity shut down. So, this, are all the, this is a chart about the life cycle of an activity. So, I suppose you can read this map uh, similar to the applet code in a Java program. Applet also have a life cycle and we used to have a flowchart, the start, run, stop, destroy and all. So on start, on resume, on pause, on stop, on destroy. So whatever things to be done, those things can be given. On create, you have definition of each and everything given here. So this IDE gives all the support for us to develop an Android application. The IDE we have chosen is Eclipse. I suppose Eclipse is the popular IDE used for developing Android applications. Or create bundle saved instant state. Saved instant state is an object of bundle. So what to do on create? So on create, we are we are calling the super class of the activity set content view r dot layout main let us start from this one r dot layout main then what is r so that we have to find what is r yeah in the generated java files folder there is a com dot shaji and in that you can see one r r dot java see here we have some values declared it's a class r is a class and some attributes drawables layout string there are two strings at present one string is app name and another one is hello okay this is this is so called r dot layout dot main okay let us explore the project more in detail and the package details are here android.jar that is a file which is used to uh, which is uh, imported into our project and there is a binary folder of, of course there is an asset folder but there is no assets here there is a binary folder and resource is under that and one resource folder there uh, so many things are there but there is a folder called values string.xml yeah this is string.xml in that we have hello string app name string two string values we have seen this hello and app name somewhere i suppose it's in r yeah it is here app name hello so these two things are two variables and this java uh, r java gives some unique identification for those strings and this string dot xml there is a resource view and a string view in html so ultimately this is defined in xml this is an xml file it is coded in xml version 1.0 and see string name hello and this is the string hello world activity shaji string and the second one app name first string these are the two strings defined in the string dot xml file and it is related with java, r dot java and again that is linked to set content view r dot layout dot main so r is a resource file and which is connected with our activity which is going to be run on the top 
of the screen and let us check the further details there is a layout uh, the name is main.xml so this is main.xml uh, we have a window here uh, there is a title that is first and hello world Shaji activity let us see what is it let us go and see properties of it first first the activity in the activity uh, the layout is linear layout and rest of the properties are described described here all the properties for this activity similarly hello world is hello world shaji activity this is another uh, component placed on the activity that is small text the name of the component is small text and let us explore the rest of the details and the text is linked with hello string dot hello string xml and in the string view you can see hello world shaji activity and an exclamation mark yeah that's what displayed here so the string hello is having this content and that content is being displayed here so add string slash hello that is the text on this small text the name of the uh, component is small text the type is small text and that's it that is the comment here okay let me reduce the property property window size a bit and there is a palette and in the palette you can see in the form widgets tab you can see text small text of course this item is of small text yeah this is the one small text text view large text medium text button toggle button that means on off button once you press it will be on the second time it will off and again on off that is toggle button and a checkbox a single radio button checked text view the text itself can be checked and this is a spinner progress bar large normal small this is a progress bar horizontal this is a seek bar This is quick content barge and this is radio button group. This is rating bar. These are all the standard, but that are standard objects, GUI objects in the form images. Similarly, we have text layout in which we have different plain text, person name, password, email ID, phone address postal address multi-line text and so many other components including date autocomplete multi autocomplete everything and this is about the layout how you want to lay out the different comments we have different layouts linear layout horizontal and vertical relative layout frame layout and different layouts table layout of course and there are many tools including uh, media and images date and time Okay, these are different tools available in the palettes. So these GI components, we can put it into our Android application and we can work on it. So in our uh, program, the program is the program which we want to work on is Shaji activity or the activity class activity.java, which is extended from the Java class and we have done nothing even then let us run it 
So <laughs> while clicking run, it is asking what type of application with this uh, Java application, Java applet, because this Eclipse is ready to run Java, Java application, even Android application. So I selected Android application and click OK. And it's taking time, it will take time. So this program is running on a system, but actually the program is supposed to run on a Android application. So how to see the output? The option is we have an emulator, Android emulator. This is the one. This is just loading, not yet finished. And we can see the steps done here. New emulator found and this is the emulator waiting waiting for the emulator to load and getting launched ok this is the emulator and when we run a program we can see our program here uh, in this emulator running in this emulator now it's android we started animating android wait 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 it will take time uh, some more messages came uploading shaji dot apk that is our project into the device emulator 5554 that's the number of our name of our emulator installing shaji dot apk still installing starting activity on the device emulator yeah it's almost ready let me go to uh, sorry application and keyboard processor form is not responding was close yeah it's ready this is our application hello world shadi activity that is got displayed nothing special we got a text string on the screen anyhow this is a kind of hello world application usually we used to do this as the first in our in all our programming hello world how we did we did nothing so we cre created an android project and the text string was there in the string dot html hello world activity let me change the string hello world this is my first android program let me save it I run it hello world this is my first android program yeah i i hope this is okay for the first time. so actually what we have to do is we should have android installed in our system that you can go to google and the android website and the steps are when we have to download uh, android application into our project using android sdk installer so installer will manage which version of the Android SDK you need to install that's up to you there are many versions available and I have installed two versions uh, 4 and uh, 2.1 so if you have time you can install all the versions and you have to uh, install plugin to the Eclipse so that the Eclipse also will understand what Android is so that you can have that plugin into your Android so that you can create new projects, run the Android projects from your Eclipse itself. And this is the emulator. When you install the SDK, the emulator will be ready. So you can try the first program. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, expect more videos from me uh, for doing some activities in Android. Okay, thank you for watching my video and have a nice day. Bye.